Hi, this is a stage four phonics video. Today we're looking at CVC words that have the middle vowel sound being the I, the uh, uh, uh sound. We're looking really carefully at the IG word family. In today's lesson, we're going to start by hearing the words and listening really carefully to the sounds. Then we're going to practice reading some words with those sounds in it. Then we will get out our pencil and paper and practice writing and spelling some words. Then we'll revise the sounds that we've done today, plus the sounds we've done in other lessons to try and get them going really fast and fluid. Are you ready? Okay, tarting is turned all the way on. Get ready to listen to the sounds. This is a pig. How many words can you think of that rhyme with pig? Pig, fig, gig, twig. How many words did you come up with? These coloured circles help us to imagine the first sound. So the green circle is the first sound, the last sound in a word, the red circle, and the middle sound, which is the yellow circle. So if I say the word wig, wig, what's the first sound? W, w, w. What's the last sound? G, 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 middle sound. Uh, uh, uh. Alright, let's try and go faster on this one. Dig, first sound. D, d, d. Last sound. G, g, g. Middle sound. Uh, uh, uh. What about the word rig? Rrr. G, g, g. Uh, uh, uh. Well done. Okay, robot arms ready. Get ready to chop up the word and then blend the sounds together to say the whole word. The first word we're going to robot is big. I'll have a turn and then you can have a turn. Ready? B, uh, g, big. Your turn. B, uh, g, big. Well done. Next one is wig. W, uh, g, wig. Let's try again. W, uh, g, wig. What about the word twig? Now this word doesn't have three sounds, it's got four sounds. So listen really carefully if you, to see if you can hear all four sounds. T, w, e, g, twig. Your turn. T, w, e, g, twig. Awesome. All right, now we're up to the reading part of the lesson. The aim of the game here is to try and read the words quickly. If you need to stop and break up the word, that's okay too. Pig. Wig, dig, fig, big, gig, rig, zig, twig. Whew, how did that go? Okay, now we're up to writing some words. Pause the video now and get your piece of paper or your scrapbook or your whiteboard ready and get ready to write and spell some words. When you set up your page, you want it to look something kind of like this. So you want to draw a small sun in the top right hand corner because that's a place for you to collect your ticks that you earn in today's lesson. Don't do it too big though because then you'll run out of space to do your writing. But don't do it too small because you need lots of space because you're going to get lots of ticks today. The first word we're going to write is dig. Write the word dig. Do you have a D? Do you have an I? Do you have a G? Dig. We've got D, I, G, dig. All right, have a look at the D and the G and see how they're both facing away from the sun. Their faces, the, the curved part of their shapes, are facing this way, away from the sun. Remember the letter B, like a butterfly, faces towards the sun. If you got all of those sounds and your letters are facing the right way, give yourself a tick. The next word we're going to write is fig. Write the word fig. Do you have an F? Do you have an I? Do you have a G? F, I, G, Fig. If you've got all three letters and sounds, give yourself a tick. 
make sure that your F is a tall stick and your G has a hanging possum tail below the line. The next word we're going to write is a little bit different to those other ones. You've got to listen very carefully to the end of the word. The word is bib. Write the word bib. Do you have a B? Do you have an I? Do you have a B? Bib. B. A. B. Bib. And if you've got all three sounds, give yourself a tick. You can have a bonus tick. If your B's, the belly of your B's, is facing the sun. Now we're going to change some words. So we're going to change the word bib into bin. Change bib to bin. Write the word bin. Hmm, which part of the word is changing? Is it the first sound, the last sound, or the middle sound? Bib, bin. It's the last sound. So the B and bib change to an N. So we've got b, uh, n, bin. If, you've, if you got all three letters and you knew that was an N on the end, give yourself a tick. Well done. Now we're going to change bin to pin. Bin. Pin. Write the word pin. Here we have a P I N. P I N. Pin. If you got all three letters and you knew that it was a P at the beginning, a P P pin, then you can have another tick. Make sure your P is facing towards the sun and it has a hanging stick that hangs below the other two letters. Ready for the next one? Now we're going to change pin to pan. Pin, pan. Write the word pan. Here we have a P, A, N, P, A, N, pan. Now the middle sound, that's the trickiest sound to hear. So if you knew that that was an A, you got all of the letters correct, give yourself a tick. Awesome. Now it's time to write our silly sentence. I'm going to say the sentence two times, and then you can pause the video and have a go at writing the sentence yourself. The sentence is, A big pig in a wig. A big pig pig in a wig. Ready, go. Here is our sentence. Let's read it together. A big pig in a wig. Now there are three words, CVC words in this sentence that have the I, the uh, uh, sound in the middle. They're big, b, uh, g, big, Pig, p, a, g, pig, and wig, w, a, g, wig. If you spe spelled all of those words correctly and got all of the sounds right, give yourself two ticks in your son. Well done. We also need to make sure that we've written a super sentence. So check that you have a capital A at the beginning and a full stop at the end of your sentence. You also need to make sure that you've got finger spaces between each word. If you remembered those things that make up a super sentence, you can have an extra tick. Well done. Okay, the last part of the lesson is to revise the sounds from today's lessons. Lesson and sounds we've done in other lessons too. So the aim of the game here is to read these words fluently like we do when we're reading, we're, when we're reading a book. So we're not going to stop and sound out every single word. If you know the word, just say it as fast as you can. Ready? Pig. Dog. Cot. Bed. Cop. Leg. Gap. Wig. Pet. Hat. Dig. Fan. Whew, 
How did that go? Was it tricky to read those words fast? Well done if you could do it. Don't forget at the end of today's lesson you need to count up how many ticks you earned in your sun. Remember that number so that next time you do a phonics lesson you can see if you can get more ticks than today's lesson. Thanks for joining in and see you in the next video. Bye!